Just easier than the achievement, honestly. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 7 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, part of the Reignited Trilogy for the Xbox. So, today we'll be going to Zephyr, the first of the two bird worm levels, and for some reason it's sinking data, because why not? Holy Jesus, that was loud. Did my... I feel like my audio options here somehow messed up. No, that's just how loud that is. I think my... My video recorder... Video recorder got really loud. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. Okay, Colonel Blub. Um, yeah, this place is actually pretty difficult. There's still only 400 gems, despite being one of the biggest levels in the entire game. There are some annoying orbs to get. Also, these birds are a pain in the butt. Because only certain spots will it trigger them. They'll, they also drop bombs into the bellies of those little birds that they can then use to shoot you. Otherwise, they'll just slap you. Okay. What the heck was that game? Come back, you're a bird, and fight me like a bird. There we go. Dead. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting blown up by some little pint-sized bird. Not today, not ever again. We already had that happen this episode already, and that was ridiculous. So, yeah, we're not letting that happen again. And which way do you guys uh, bombard us from? Uh, let's see, this way? No, but it still works. There we go. I see you using your bombs over here. You think I'm gonna let you get away with that, punk? Oh yeah, we have to talk to this guy. just ain't working for me. Do you think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump up here and give it a try. Well, sure. It's our first cannon. So yeah, you can just aim it up and down with, like, up and down on the, uh... If you want the achievement, I'm pretty sure you have to kill one of them with uh, with the cannon. But that's not the one you can do. You have to wait. So there we go, we destroyed that, and then I think... Never mind, that worked. And then there's a door over here. Which we managed to hit. Nice. The music here is pretty good, though. That was, that was a 25. That was a pretty big, juicy gem. Considering, you know, there's only 400 per level. Also, aha, they did keep it. In the original, they did have that one gem fall down. I noticed a lot of the, um, like, breakable items in this, they won't have the gems fall down where they used to. They'd be more in, like, a designated area, which in some cases they do, in some cases they don't. Now, these guys are kind of like the narcs from the first game that just roll TNT, except they do it less often, which makes them an actual easy foe. Except for these guys, sometimes they will just chuck them at you, and they do kind of aim towards you, instead of just throwing in a set pattern. Or like, not a set pattern, like a set path. And these guys, they don't have bombs, so they'll slap you. They can still damage you, though. Whoa. We already have 18 enemies done, though. That's a lot, considering exactly what we had to do. And how much is still around. This is actually the end of the level over here. So what you want to do is you want to kill him to get the achievement with the cannon. And there, and if you didn't have the achievement, you just got it. So we'll go this way, because this way is towards the end of the level. And this one will obviously, you know, roll the bombs on you, because... I don't know why some of them do and some of them don't, but they do. Wait, you already picked up that life? 
Man, Sparks ate that really quick. I was kind of surprised. Alright, pal, you're next. Bird number 21. Down and out. Uh, let's see, what else have we got here? We got more of these guys. Because why not? Let's give us a bunch of the same enemy, I don't care. Heck a kablooey! Kaboom! And then. Did that thing just throw a bomb at me? That was weird. And this one should break open this door. They are throwing bombs at me. But yay! Alright, let's grab all these gems and then backtrack. Oh god, those. Wait, that bird just killed himself. Ah, that's too funny. Sorry, bird brain, but uh, nobody got time for... Oh my god, now I have to do it again. Whoa, I almost fell down. Even though, technically, I don't think this level has a cliff that you can die falling down. It's one of the very few levels that doesn't actually have any environmental hazards that can kill you. Anyways, must have grabbed the what talisman. Now? What an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh yeah, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier! And we got the Ruby Bomb. Nice. Now we can go down here. So two of the four orbs here will actually be with these little Calic guys. Now, to get to the Calyx, there's one right here. So what you have to do is you either flame them or charge them, but you have to knock them into little Bo Peep's pen over there. And just... Wait, why is that bird attacking me down here? They really increase the range of those stupid birds. And you can go up here and- oh my god, there's more birds, really? Oh, come off it. What the- what the heck was that, bird? Why are they not getting flamed? That's just really weird. Now they're in sync with each other, which is really weird. Okay, these- I was, say, I was gonna say these should be the last of the enemies, but I don't think they're technically the last of the enemies. But with that done, now we should only have to worry about that one stupid bird that attempts to blow us up from the heavens. You know, back at the end of the level, but technically we can skip that, but I usually take the exit portals, so that's a thing too. Man, there were three red gems there. Also, that one tells you if you have all the calyx or not. Now there is a... Yeah, there it is. There's that gem that's, that's always hard to see, and for some reason I didn't have my reticle. That was that was funny. I know there's a red gem still up there, but what you want to do is you want to actually flame these guys, because they'll get a huge boost in height, simply because you're using the breath power, and I don't know why that wouldn't let me do anything. Now get out of the way. Oh, I did make it up. Perfect. Oh, and here's another one of those mystery bases that we've seen in Skilo's Badlands. Like I said, once we found them in this world, they were going to show up constantly within the next few games. Like this game, and then the next game, and then I think there's a game... I don't remember if the Game Boy games have something like it, but I'm pretty sure they do. And we'll just bring them down there. They're a little bit janky compared to the, uh, the original for whatever reason. I don't really actually like how they play out in this. But we need this one to get that single red gem, so we need to go up here. Uh, yeah. I did up the uh, FPS on the video recorder, and so I'm hoping things, you know, record a little more smoothly. What are you guys doing in here? And that bird is still trying to bomb me from the heavens, man. That's just annoying at this point. Also, there's a gem right there. Can you please stop bombing me? Like, for the love of all that is holy, man, leave me alone. There we go, that's three. Now, let's go and look for all the gems around here. Because where the other two calyx are, they'll be where the other two orbs are. So you're going to have to backtrack pretty big with them. Also, this level is kind of difficult to find all the gems. Not because it's technically a hard level, but just because the green gems blend in so well with the tall grass in this game. For some reason, they made the grass extremely tall, which is excruciatingly painful. Now, let's go do the mystery vase, since that requires us to backtrack the entire level, and we don't want to technically have to backtrack that much. 
Or, ugh. My throat nearly died there for a second. I said, I was going to say, all right, now time to go back through the uh, root tunnel here to where the cannon was. We need to go up here. You can also charge them. That technically breaks them, too. Yeah, this one you only have to hit, what, one, two, three, four times altogether to break it? This is the fourth time. Even though it requires you to backtrack more than certain levels, it's one of the ones where you have to hit it the least. Which actually gave us quite a few gems. Holy cow. How many are we at now? 2047. I think we get to 2100 here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think I have a cat hair stuck in my throat and it's just really tickly. Also, hang on a second here. There, I had to fix the uh, microphone's positioning. It was just kind of awkward. Hopefully I didn't make it, uh, you know, make any grainy sounds or anything, so it didn't hurt your guys' ears or something. Oh, might as well talk to this guy. What light from yonder window breaks? That window up there, dummy! The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Find the professor already, sir. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's more enemies, and I can't even tell you how many enemies are in a level. Because unlike the PS2 version of the game, it actually used to tell you how many enemies were in a level. So let's say like you have 18 out of 18 enemies or something like that, you know? Instead of what it's like now, where it doesn't tell you. You just have to kind of guesstimate, and death to you, death to you. Now, sir, I need you to cooperate with me, and please, walk to the ledge. Not that ledge. Did he make it? I can't tell if he made it or not. The hitboxes in this are kind of weird. Alright, so then I need you to get out of the way. So, please get down the tunnel. Thank you. Weird. You can't flame him, despite him going home every now and then. Now, the other one should be over here. Those birds above, up above us make a lot of noise. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Here's the last one right here. You're probably wondering. That's more than five. And, yeah, it is more than five. Because, guess what? There's actually seven. But I like to round them all up around the exact same amount. Around the same time. That way, you know, it's not as painful to get them all. Oh, there's the professor, so we'll just grab these gems before we go and deal with the Calyx. And then we'll go get the Calyx challenge done, and then go and deal with the professor and then Romeo and Juliet there. Surprise, surprise, it's based off of the real Romeo and Juliet story. Which isn't real, for those wondering. It is just a story made by Shakespeare, but yeah, see, they kind of teleport. In the original, they could actually fall down there. But they didn't function the way they did here, where they kind of, like, break. Like, look at this. They're just not... They don't gain enough distance. And sometimes they gain way too much distance. It's just like, why does that one get to go to the heavens and then that one not, you know? And why did that one go backwards? Why is this guy, like, only going backwards? He refuses to even face the other way. Oh my god, can you guys not? Get up there. Get up there, thank you. He's kind of floating now, but he's still up there. Yeah, this mission, I'm not a huge fan of, and that's why I said this level might take up an entire uh, episode, because it just takes forever. Oh, I thought that one landed in. I was about to say, man, that would have been lucky. And we must get our first orb now. Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something for, you know, the effort. Thank you. Mr. Bo Peep, I guess. There yeah, and there's two more Calyx. I already told my subscribers that there's two more Calyx. And for some reason, he got stuck, which is absolutely hilarious. Also, why are you in the corner? Stop moping, friggin' Eeyore, and get over here. Stinking Eeyores. But see what I mean about rounding them all at the same time? Isn't this just that much better? Because... Who honestly thought this challenge was fun? I don't know. Well, that's number six into the pen, and now we need to get number seven, and then we can just go do the more easy, chill part of the level. Ow! Well, I am 
I'm impressed. You got all seven cowlicks for me. Here's a fair reward. And thank you for the second orb before. Now we're gonna have 33 orbs when we're done here. That's pretty good. I still can't believe that bird bombed me. He's not supposed to hit you from down here, but in the remake, for whatever reason, he can. So let's go talk to the professor. We'll probably have time to do the Metro Speedway in this episode if I don't bomb that level too hard. Spyro, my boy, I've got a magic beam. I mean, seed for you in here somewhere. Ah, oh, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Um, it was already there, but sure, you technically need to bring it over here, though, because you're going to need three, and we only have two, and there's a second, or one, and then there's a second one up there, but there's also one here. You just fire it into the ground, and it creates a platform, which then you can use to do this. And the annoying part is, you have to flame them again, and, uh, it's just... I don't know, they did not make this very convenient, so we need this one, so we'll aim it down here. Then we gotta go and grab the first one that we had, and use it to get up onto that one, which will then allow us to get the third one to plant the third one and get up to the next part. Now the second part of this, like, the first orb takes the longest, the second orb, kinda like remember in Huracos, how the second orb was like right after the first orb that we got for doing that one challenge? Yeah. Same ordeal, this one's pretty lengthy, but then the, uh... You know, second half of it's not even a half, it's like, maybe a third. Oh yeah, this part. It really requires you to aim though, because now you got to aim all the way down there and hope that you hit it. Like that. It opens up this a beautiful beanstalk. There we go. And that is technically, I believe, all the enemies now, except for the... Uh, one that we didn't kill because he's just in such an awkward location. You're supposed to be able to hit them with the cannons, but for some reason they messed that up in this game. And see, yeah, there's the uh, first set of orbs, and then now all you have to do is get up there. See what I mean? And you get both the uh, seeds right here. Well done, my boy. Here are two more seeds to get you the rest of the way. Oh, and take this with you if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. This thing is bigger than your pockets, but sure. I'll happily take it. A lot of people think this is like the best part game. I personally think number three is just downright better. It only has one level that I actually dislike. And that's that's not saying much, considering it's only one level. And it's in, uh, in what, Enchanted Towers? I think that's what the level's name is. It's just like... Are you kidding me? Oh god darn it. I overshot that. I think that's the first time I've genuinely ever overshot that in this level. I used to plant it too early when I was a kid, like, not bring the second one with me, but... Okay, so it looks like this one we actually have to aim more directly, yep. And this one you need to bring over here. You can almost make that without the platform, too. That's how funny that is. Wait, I'm missing gems. Poop. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo. You can have this. I don't need it anymore. Thank you, Miss Sassy Bird. He just looks at her like, huh? What's going on? Yeah, and they used to smooch each other in the original. Now they kind of just like, I don't know, look weird. Oh, I'm missing a green gem. Really? I knew it was going to be a green gem that we were missing. And it's pointing over here. Oh, don't tell me it's in there. Oh, it's right there. Nice. Now we can go take the exit portal. And then we can go to Metro Speedway and finish that off and then call it an episode. What do you guys think? I think that'll be pretty fun. I think that'll be a brilliant. Metro Speedway, like I said, is the most annoying because the achievement there is annoying. 
Now, the skill point can be a pain in the butt, but it's not too bad. It's just, once again, you gotta beat it in a certain amount of time, which is easier than the achievement, honestly. <laughs> now, who wants some fried chicken? Because that bird has been roasted. Weird that I called the fried chicken and said roasted, because I make total sense. Alrighty, let's go on to Metro Speedway. And then next episode we'll probably do Breeze Harbor and Scorch, since they're both not overly long levels. So let's go in here. Neom. Alright. See what I mean about the load times, though? They're ridiculously short. At least the music here is pretty good, and now we gotta kill pigeons because rats with wings. Now if you want the achievement you have to kill all the pigeons first before completing this speedway. And you actually do have to complete the entire speedway so don't think that like you can cheese it and just like get them first and then die because that's not how it'll work. Now I do need to go back for this one jumper over here because yay jumpers. They're weird like little blue dudes with mohawks which is kind of funny honestly. Oh, we actually managed to hit that guy. I don't even know how. We just did. You can actually hit their string that they're on. Like, their rope. So that's a pretty cool touch. Now we got these walruses with these signs, which only give you one second apiece, because I guess they're really close together. So, that's a thing, but... Oh yeah, then we got you up here to deal with. We got these to do, and then that's it. And hopefully we got the uh, skill point for doing it. Otherwise, I don't think I'm going to be doing all the skill points because let's be real, they're not that easy to get. And nope, we got it. Nice. And then we got to retry anyway. Not because we failed, but because we need to get the orb. And to get the orb, you do need to go back in. So we'll go over here. And where you have to go is you actually have to go into this waterfall right here and talk to the mayor. We've been having a crime problem here in Metro Speedway, but I think you might be able to help. A band of cat burglars have been raiding my re-election funds by scaling the walls of the buildings. Would you be willing to help get rid of them? Sure. Great! Hunter can knock the scoundrels off of the buildings, but we'll need you to catch the loot before it lands in the canal and gets lost. Good luck. Hunter is waiting for you outside. Okay, Mr. Big Schnoz, are you Scrooge? The fact that we're collecting loot... And you have a big nose, short, and have a top hat. Sound like Scrooge. So yeah, he'll shoot these cat burglars who meow, which sounds sad. But then you have to catch the loot. And this one's mm, probably the most boring out of all the Hunter minigames in these speedways. And I don't know why Hunter is always the one with you in speedway levels. It's kind of funny how that happened, but it's still cool, I guess. Meow. Sounds like it hurts him quite bad when he shoots him like that. Holy cow. Oh my god, so much loot everywhere. Man, we almost missed that loot. Sometimes it's hard to follow him because, like, he takes things so narrowly that uh, it can be quite harrowing. That's for certain. Get out of my way. Oh yeah, and this last one, you don't have, like, any time to fail. Well done. You really taught those crooks a lesson. And thank you for the orb, Mr. Mayor S. Mayor. In the original, instead of like doing this and just instantly loading it, it would say one out of one secret orbs found. So, now we can leave. We got our 400 gems, and I think that'll just about do it for this episode. So any anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below. I haven't been getting a lot of people there. We have been getting a lot of views though, which I do appreciate, but it would be nice if you guys came and joined us for some fun there too. Talk about video games, talk about future projects, vote for which project you want to see next, pay for what product you, uh, product or project you want to see next, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.